stand in your presence, singing holy is your name, singing holy is your name, oh Lord. Singing holy is your name, singing holy is your name, oh Lord. Lord, I stand in your presence, singing holy is your name, singing holy is your name, oh Kalavando lovori hakra di la agorode bine halawa hazila hadi. Unto the Lord be the glory, perfect He has done. Unto the Lord be all the glory. Great things He's done Unto the Lord be the glory Great things He has done Unto the Lord be all the glory Great things He has done Unto the Lord be the glory, reference the Lord has done. Unto the Lord be all the glory, reference He has done. Thank you for provision of food in Nika and shelter. Le varaga da la pagudine mahazia, le kose kilibi wahazia. Thank you for continuously watching over me, watching over my loved ones. Thank you for blessing my going out and coming in. E kalipa na akazala wahazia. Glory to God. Celebrate the mercies of God. Give him praise. Mikala bahazina. Thank you for not allowing me to end up as a victim in the hands of the enemy. E lepoko tonima. Thank you for victory. In Christ Jesus that I have 
over every sin and unseen battles to the glory and the honor of your holy name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Good day, saints of God. Praise be the name of Jesus. We give God the glory and the honor as we close to the glory of God. The month of June 2023. Hallelujah. Victory over on sin battles and I decree in the name of Jesus as we land up this month with this prophetic word victory over unseen battle that shall continue to be your portion in the name of Jesus the rest of your life until Christ come to take us home continue to enjoy victory over unseen battles and challenges remember if you can enjoy victory over the unseen then victory over the sin will naturally happen to the glory of god because it is the unseen that controls the sin so if you enjoy victory over every unseen battle you will enjoy victory over every sin battle to the glory of god brethren Please listen to me carefully this day, morning, afternoon, evening, depending on where you are listening to me from or watching me from. You live your life in seasons. Life is in phases, friends, and it differs with people based on what God has called you to do. That is why it is risky and dangerous to compare yourself with someone else and like i've said before no calling from god is inferior it doesn't matter how small or how big your call may look no calling is inferior to another every call from god is a high calling so take it with joy whether your calling is to pastor a church in a house or to pastor a church of a hundred thousand seater or your calling is to go out for soul winning or your calling is to sweep the church or your calling is to stand by servants of god or your calling is to sing and lead people into the presence of god whatever that call is as long as it is as long as it is genuinely from god it is a high calling and i'd like you to take note as you journey through that call know that your life is in season there is a waiting time there is an action time there is a doing time keep walking with the spirit of god and let god continue to guide you but take note of this don't do anything that is not your best for god and for yourself hallelujah in every season that you find yourself offer your best to god offer your best to god in whatever service God has called you into. Offer your best to God, knowing that at the end of your journey here on earth, there is a faithful God that is going to reward you accordingly for that which you have been called to do. Lift your hands. Say, Lord, may I not waste my season. Lord, may I not waste any season of my life. For every season God brings you into, there is an assignment, there is a mandate for that particular season. So pray this prayer. My Father, my God, may I not waste any season of my life. Lord, I receive grace in the name of Jesus. May I not waste any season of my life. Grace to be faithful. Grace to be committed. In every season, Lord, I journey through as you carry me by the help of your spirit. May I not waste it. May I not waste it. May I not waste it. May I continue to be useful to you, to your kingdom. Atilimi wa akatala and to the wall around me. E faron te kada mi sukla krakoto libina azande libi wahaza. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Hallelujah. And as God begin to bless you. 
as God begins to enrich you, as God begins to honor you, as God begins to elevate you, because that will happen. This day I stand by the authority in the name of Jesus. Grace to enjoy supernatural and unusual advancement. Receive it, receive it, receive it in the name of Jesus. Because as you choose to honor the word of God over your life and to carry out that mandate, that assignment God has put upon you, the God of the vision will make provision for you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So remember, don't forget, please, as God begin to honor you, be useful to God. Because riches without soul winning, riches without outreach as a Christian, as a believer is a failure. Because you will give account of that. Whatever God has put in your hand, that position God has raised you to, that blessing God has brought into your hand, that which is God is channeling towards your direction, is for a purpose. May you use it to the glory and to the honor of God. Because you will give account of what God has enabled you to be as a steward to enjoy here on earth. Even as much as you take care of yourself and your family. Glory to God. Open your head one more time. Say, my father, my Lord, I receive grace to use what you have blessed me with. To fulfill your purpose and calling for my life. In Kabbalah Bahazia, To the glory and to the honor of your name. Lord, I receive grace to use what you have blessed me with. To fulfill your purpose for my life. To the glory and the honor of your name. Mifala kazaka koko beni ikata. Le shukro kote beni ikila akura bawama bagadaya. Le sakro to lebena agada gabo de dia. Le sukuli pina angradili wahaze klatila wahaze. Le soko to bana akako bali asikradia. Le sukro to libina. Makoto ba ika asa akifu aluwa azikla kratolimi wa angra dina atula wa angadila wahaza. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I receive that grace. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ma parakasaka telibala. Amen. Psalms chapter 74 and verse 20. The book of Psalms 74 and verse 20 glory be to jesus hallelujah remember your covenant promises remember your covenant promises for the land is full of darkness and violence hallelujah so if the physical is full of darkness and violent how much more in the spirit how much more is the spiritual but one thing that we guarantee your safety in the place of spiritual battle is what the Bible is saying here. Remember your covenant with God. Your covenant and promises to God is one of the major guarantee for your safety in the place of darkness and violence. In the seen and the unseen. As you remain faithful to God and committed to God. Ela parakasakata. The mercy of God will continue to keep you, protect you, and preserve you. Friends, the oppression of darkness is real. We've been seeing that in the past two, three weeks. The wickedness of the unseen forces in this world and in the spirit is real. But glory to God, the Son of the living God. More real is our victory in God. And as we are seeing from Psalm 74 verse 20, our covenant with God, that which we have with God, he said, remember it because if you forget it, you might end up becoming a victim or be vulnerable to the works of darkness and the violence of darkness in the city and in the spirit. It will not be your portion. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of of the living God. Hallelujah. If you forget every scripture this month, do not forget 1 Corinthians 15 verse 57. It's our anchor scripture for this month. Hallelujah. We'll be looking at it from the very beginning as we start the teaching this month, victory over unseen battle. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 57. Hallelujah. Look at it. Glory to God. But thanks be to God. But thanks be to God. He gives us the victory. Not his planning to give us 
not he's willing to he's already giving it to us when christ came and died and and, and resurrected he secured that victory for us hallelujah that at the mention of the name of jesus every knee must bow of things on earth of things beneath the earth and of things in heaven but thanks be to god he gives us the victory through our lord and savior jesus christ hallelujah the victory we have in christ consists in the defeat of death friends in the defeat of sin in the defeat of the oppression of the wicked by the resurrection and forgiveness of sin through jesus christ our lord lift up your hand one more time say i declare and i decree in the name of jesus i have victory in the name of jesus i have victory nothing will take me down nothing will defeat me to the glory of god says clap your hands to pray pray the same prayer for your children Pray the same prayer for your loved ones. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus, I have victory in Christ Jesus that nothing will take me down. Nothing will defeat me. Nothing will take my loved ones down. Nothing will defeat them. Through the power in the name of Jesus, we boast not in ourselves, we boast not in our ability, we boast not in our riches or wealth, but we boast in the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. For we are who we are by the grace of God. In the name of Jesus. Blessing is your name. The Lord says your vindication has taken place. God has vindicated you. They try to implicate you to destroy your marriage. But God said, I should tell you, he has vindicated your blessing. Daughter of God, your marriage shall stand. Your marriage shall stand. And they who intend to put you to shame shall be put to shame. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of of the living God. There is someone listening to me. You are having a strange, terrible pain at the left side of your head. A couple about very painful. It's like the veins in your head by the left hand side. Please contact us with the number on the screen. There are so many testimonies we, we receive every week by the power of God as word of knowledge and prophecies go forth. I decree that this now be your testimony. You that God is speaking to, receive your healing. Receive your healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Open your hands. Say, by the power in the name of Jesus, I stand firm in the place of victory that Christ has given to me. I stand firm in the place of victory that Christ has given to me. I stand firm. I declare it. I decree it in the name of Jesus. 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 Mapakotoba le parakatapuka le fukata katuli bina angra dilawa hasata le sekradia. Child of God, pray in Jesus' mighty name. Lift up your hand. Say, in the name of Jesus, by the victory I have in Christ Jesus, by the victory I have in Christ Jesus, let every camp of those gathered against me, gathered against my family, gathered against my children, gathered against my business, gathered against my career, scatter and be dismissed in the name of Jesus. Scatter and be dismissed in the name of Jesus. Scatter and be dismissed in the name of Jesus. Clap your hands if you have enough room to pray to move. Move and pray. Stamp your feet. In Jesus mighty name. They call you young. That's your name. That's what I'm hearing in my spirit. Your name is young. The Lord say your effort will soon begin to show forth. Don't be discouraged. I see you in the spirit complaining. Oh, in spite of all my effort, I have nothing to show. The devil is a liar. Complain is not of God. They who complain don't see God at work. Friends, celebrate the goodness of God. Your effort will show forth, says the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. Jeremiah chapter 30 
and verse 19. I decree and I prophesy, everyone under the influence of my voice, everyone hearing me, listening to me, I decree you shall not end small. You shall not end small. For God's glory and honor, you shall be honored. You shall be elevated in the name of Jesus, that your elevation may bring glory to God, that your elevation may bring souls to the kingdom of God. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Your children shall not end small. They shall be honored. They shall be elevated. That their elevation and honor will bring glory to God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Jeremiah 30 and verse 19. Listening to the word of God. And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. Shout a loud amen. Out of your family. Out of your business. Out of your career. They shall be thanksgiving. You will have reasons to celebrate God. You will have reasons to thank God. And the voice of them that make merry. And I will multiply them. Receive a child of God. And they shall not be few. I will also glorify them. And they shall not be small. That shall be your portion. That shall be the portion of your children. In the name of Jesus. May the hand of God multiply you. You will not be small. You will not end up small. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your hand. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare I shall not be small. My children shall not be small. We shall end up honored and great for the honor and the glory of God. Clap your hands and turn into prayer. As we journey through the remaining any six months of this year lika valahaza mavola azika lahata magabonde getiga eraga dolibina aza as we journey through the remaining six months of this year, if Jesus tarry, I decree these words uh, over my children, over my business, over my career, over my ministry, over the works of my hand, I shall not end up small. The Lord God will glorify me for his honor and for his glory in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I shall be multiplied by the hand of God in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. Psalm 71 and verse 21. Psalm 71 and verse 21. Thou shall increase my greatness. Put your name there. Put your family name there. Put your business name there. Put your children name there. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. If you believe it, it shall be so for you. I choose to believe the word of God. I choose to believe the word of God. Psalm 71 and verse 21. Thou shall increase Adam's greatness and comfort me on every side. I receive it in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God child of God, I pray that this come to pass in your life. I pray that this come to pass in the life of your children. May the plan of God for your life not be aborted. May the plan of God for the lives of your children not be aborted. In the mighty name of Jesus, the remaining six months of this year, as we step into July, our month of possessing your possession, I decree and declare, may the plan of God for your life May it not be aborted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the plan of God for your children, may it not be aborted. May the plan of God for my life not be aborted. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hand. Say, may the Lord increase my greatness spiritually, financially, materially. In the name of Jesus. Present the works of your hand to God. Make sure you are doing something. And if you are believing God for something to do, a job, may by this prayer receive it in the name of Jesus. May the Lord increase my greatness. May the Lord increase my greatness spiritually, financially, materially. Mention it to God. Mention it to God. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Say, my Father, my God, increase my greatness for your glory. My Father, my God, increase the greatness of my children for your glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God can increase your greatness if you are idle. Therefore, I pray, if you desire to walk, which you should, because it that does not work, should not eat. Whether in ministry, in business, whatever you do, stretch your hand if you can hear me. I pray in the name of Jesus. And if you are hearing me, you know any of your loved ones believe in God for the works, for, for, for something to do, for their hands to find something to do. 
please stand for them as a point of contact. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus, receive that favor, receive that open door, receive that opportunity, receive that job, receive it, receive it in Jesus' name. You are listening to me. Your house project is accomplished, say the Lord. Your house project is accomplished, says the Lord. Whatever has made that project to be stagnant, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, receive grace, receive grace, receive grace in Jesus' name. Whatever document you are waiting for, if you are under the influence of my voice, you are hearing me. Whatever document you are waiting for, receive it, receive it, receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> I love because there is someone under the influence of my voice. They have said, where is your God? Hear me, help is coming for you. They will see that God they are asking you of. Woman, man, boy, girl, there are many in this category of word of knowledge. They have said, where is your God? Help is coming, says the Spirit of the Lord. They will see your God that they are asking for. In the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy, I decree, kidnappers will not find you or your children. The remaining half of this year, if Jesus tarry, kidnappers will not find you. Kidnappers will not find your children. As I receive unction, I decree in the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord protect you and your children from the eyes of the wicked. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Lift up your hand. Say, my Father, my God, the remaining six months of this year, protect me, keep me, protect my children, keep my children from the eyes of the wicked. Clap your hands and begin to pray. Speak into the womb of the remaining six months of this year. Le pakato kupalada. Makopo reketina aka luka sata. Le frata tolibina wa santra. Le krande lego tolibina angra di la bahazia. Le faronte kilibila asa. The remaining half of this year. My father, my God, protect me. My father, my God, keep me and my children from the eyes of the wicked. In Jesus' mighty name. John chapter 12. John chapter 12, verse 9 to 11. The book of John 12, verse 9 to 11. Listen, verse 9. Then a large crowd of the Jews learned he was there. Listen carefully. They came not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, the one he had raised from dead. Very soon, Nikabayada. People will come to God because of your testimony. Shout amen. People will come to God because of the testimony of your children. People will come to God because of the testimonies of God in my life in the name of Jesus Christ and my family. They came not just because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from dead. What God is doing in your life and, all, and what God is about to do in your life and the life of your children, it will bring people to Christ. It will bring people to Christ. May the things that will happen in your life not take people away from Christ. May it bring people to Christ. May it bring people to Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. But strange enough, when these people came to Jesus and they came to see not just Jesus but Lazarus whom he has raised from there, look at verse 10. Their intentions for some of them, that is why every time people gather there is always a mixed multitude. Some of them, their intentions was to destroy that testimony. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Someone Jesus had raised from dead that they should be celebrating the message of God instead their plan was to kill him again. The devil is a liar. Do you know there are people? Look, friends, that's why I don't believe in, in parties and, and all of that. Don't waste your money feeding people who intent is to destroy you at the end of coming to eat your food. Every time there is a gathering, take it from me. Not everybody in that gathering is for you. Don't be deceived. Listen to this very well. Then a large crowd of Jews learned he was there. They came not only because of Jesus, but to also see Lazarus, the one he has read from dead. In the midst of this crowd, there were two kinds of people here. Others came to come and see what has happened and to thank God for Lazarus' resurrection. But verse 10, but the chief priests have decided to kill Lazarus also. Among the crowd were the chief priests. 
and their intention was not to celebrate the testimony of Lazarus but to kill Lazarus. Can you imagine? There are people around you instead of celebrating with you for what God has done or God is doing in your life or the life of your children. They are plotting instead to destroy you and destroy your testimony because of envy and jealousy. Because of envy and jealousy. Why were they planning to kill Lazarus again whom Jesus had resurrected? Look at verse 11. Because he was the reason many of the Jews were deserting them and believing in Jesus. Their intention to kill him again is because people were leaving them for Jesus. Envy and jealousy. I've seen that all my life in ministry. And that is why when God speaks to me, in, that is in every phase, like I said, we live in seasons in our life. When the Lord asked me to do what I'm doing, it was a sacrifice to transit from what I've been doing. Hallelujah. Spiritually for God. To start doing what God is sending me to villages around Africa. To, to villages around Africa to share the goodness of God. One, by soul winning. Two, by feeding the poor and praying and healing the sick and delivering the oppressed. Hallelujah. Let's not bother about what people were saying. Just give glory to God. Amen. Did they succeed? No. God will not allow your enemies to succeed over you. They came as the crowd were coming. Some were coming to celebrate the miracle of Lazarus. The Pharisees were coming to destroy Hallelujah. Lift up your right hand. Say anyone, anyone making wicked and evil declaration, evil incantation, meeting secretly to stop me, to destroy me and my testimony, let their plans backfire and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Clap your hands. Stamp your feet. Pray that prayer for your children. Pray it for your business. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open your hand. Say in the name of Jesus. Any evil gathering to destroy my testimony any evil gathering to destroy the testimonies of my children let their plans backfire and be destroyed in the name of jesus 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 marco tole bella agarago dolia masugla bada nasa gagago delia le cote de liba adia i have victory over every unseen battles in jesus mighty name glory to god you have a terrible pain. I don't know if it's in your muscle, but I'm hearing the Lord. A terrible pain movement by the left side of your body. From your ribs close to your armpit downwards. In the name of Jesus, whatever is wrong, may the power of God touch you now. Be healed and be made whole in Jesus' name. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 27. Ephesians 4 verse 27. Friends, please, as we close this month, remember, don't give the devil a place. Daily refuse to give him a place, an opportunity. Hallelujah. There are ways in which you can give the devil a place. Amen. In the place of spiritual warfare, God has already given us the victory through Christ Jesus. But if you don't know the devices of the enemy, the Bible says we are not deceived by the devices of the enemy, least the enemy should take an advantage over us. So if you are ignorant of Satan's devices, he will take an advantage over you. We're going to look at those devices, a few of them today as we round up, that Satan craftily make us not notice and use it as an advantage over most of us as believers in the place of spiritual warfare. Kabbalaba. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 27. And do not give the devil a foothold. Don't give him a space. You give the devil a foothold, he will take advantage of it. He's an opportunist. He's an opportunist. He will use people around you. He will use agents. He, he, anyway, it can come in form of dreams. That is why you must know how to talk when you see things you don't like and things you don't understand. Don't accept it as your portion. Hallelujah. The devil is a liar. Glory to God. There are ways by which you can give the devil a place in the place of spiritual battle. 
hallelujah some of the physical problems and challenges that we see friends as we have seen in the course of this month they are projections of satanic oppression some of them and we need to know so that we don't fall victims to this demonic craftiness hallelujah glory to god luke chapter 13 and verse 16 luke 13 verse 16 this dear woman a daughter of abraham we are all sons and daughters of abraham spiritually by faith this woman here is referred to as a jew a daughter of abraham we are by faith through christ jesus amen we are spiritual jewish hallelujah glory to god luke 13 verse 16 this dear woman a daughter of abraham has been held in bondage by who by satan for 18 years these were words from the mouth of Jesus Christ and nothing can be truer than the truth. Isn't it right that she be released even on the Sabbath day? Friends, Jesus saw Satan as the one who had caused this disease. So that is how the devil has caused some financial disease in the life of people, some marital disease in the life of people. Hallelujah. And these are unseen battle. Please, I am not saying that all challenges, all problems are oppressions of the wicked, but some of them are. There are problems and challenges and sicknesses that has nothing to do with the physical. Just like the sickness of this woman, there are people who are sick like this medically, is a medical condition. But there are people sick just as Jesus referred to the sickness of this woman who are under the bondage of Satan. And that is what we are addressing. The devil is a liar. First Peter chapter 5 and verse 8. First Peter chapter 5 and verse 8. Be alert. That is why we must be alert. No time to sleep, friends. Be alert. No time for spiritual slumberness. Be alert and of a sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a rolling lion looking for whom to devour. He will not devour you. He will not devour your children. He will not devour the works of your hand in the name of Jesus. So God wants us to be alert, to be watchful. Don't give the devil a place. And many of us are giving Satan places, opportunities in the place of spiritual warfare. And the devil being the opportunist who he is, is taking advantage of it. Not anymore. Let's look at a few of these ways by which Satan can craftily use to have a place around us in the place of spiritual warfare. Number one, fear. Fear, friends, for me, is the absence of faith. Because if you have faith, you will not have fear. Fear brings you into Satan's territory. Just as God can reach you without faith, Satan can reach you without fear. Fear is an invitation to Satan and to his demonic forces. Fear brings torment. Whatever a man is afraid of, a man becomes a victim of. Psalm 34 and verse 4. Psalms 34 and verse 4. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all fear. No fear is good except, obviously, except the fear of God. Because the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. But outside the fear of God, every other fear, glory to God, the Bible says, God answered me and delivered me from it. Fear of the unknown, fear of the future, fear of your children not living, fear of your business collapsing. It is not of God. Walk in faith. Live in faith. Hallelujah. Walk in faith. For the just shall live by faith and not by sight. Don't live by fear, friends. Fear is not of God. Fear is the number one way by which Satan uses to have a place around us in the place of spiritual battle. Second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. Second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. For God, friends, for God has not given us a spirit of fear. So fear is not of God. God does not give it. So if you see the spirit of fear around you, it is not from God. So don't say it is God that gives me this. No, God does not give the spirit of fear except the fear of his reference and his presence. For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, of love, and of sound mind. Remember, the righteous is as bold as a lion. It is the wicked that runneth when no man pursueth him. So fear is not of God. You give the devil a place when you walk in fear. You give the devil a place when you walk in fear. 
Hallelujah. They call you J J Jonita. That's what I hear in the spirit. Massive door is opening to you. Massive door. I got a call last week from the from, from the United States of America and after the word of someone God located by a word like this. Friends, God is doing things. And I'm hearing now God is saying to me, Jonita, a massive door is opening for you, says the Lord. Get ready. God is already guiding you into it and you are going to walk into it to the glory of God in Jesus' mighty name. So number one is fear. Number two is doubt. Doubt is a feeling of uncertainty or lack of conviction on God's word and promises. That is why doubt is bad. That is why a double-minded man can receive nothing from God. What about? What if not? What if? is not of God. Rebuke the spirit of doubt far from you. Number one is fear. Number two is doubt. In the place of spiritual warfare, doubt gives the enemy a space to operate around you. Doubt is a feeling, I say again, of uncertainty or lack of conviction on God's word and promises. Don't give place to Satan. No, don't. John chapter 20 and verse 27. John chapter 20 and verse 27 Ma palaka sakata. then he said to thomas put your finger here see my hands reach out your hands put it into my sight and stop doubting and believe and stop doubting and believe and stop doubting and believe friends i said to you everyone under the influence of my voice this day stop doubting believe stop doubting don't be faithless not anymore believe stop being disobedient believe if god say do it do it if god say give it give it if god say go for it go for it where, where there are places god sent me to i don't know anyone i just go in obedience to the spirit of god i go in obedience to the spirit of god and God brings the people to places, to villages, far from cities. I know no one, but I honor God for honoring his words in my life. I obey the Lord. Obedient friends is better than sacrifice. Don't let your challenges determine who God is. Let God determine what your challenges is. Hallelujah. I say it again. Don't let your challenges determine who God is in your life. Let God determine what your challenges is. Sometimes there are some delays that will take place. It's deliberate. It's a test to see where your faith stands. Don't let, just like in the case of Job, stand on the authority of the word of God. And I tell you, friends, he will come through for you in Jesus' name. Number three, prayerlessness. Friends, listen to me carefully. Satan fears prayers. Satan fears prayers, especially word-based prayer. It is written. <laughs> The devil can't study. Remember, that was how Jesus defeated the devil on the mountain. He was praying. Every time you speak the word and the enemy is speaking, that's prayer. You don't have to necessarily be shouting or clapping. It depends on how the spirit moves you. But quoting the word is also a form of prayers. Prayer must be a lifestyle if you want to continue sealing every opening that the enemy uses to come to display his manipulation. In the place of spiritual warfare, be prayerful. Luke 18 and verse 1. Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always, not sometimes, please take note of that, not when you feel like, in fact, when you don't feel like praying, that's when you should be praying. Amen. They should always pray and not give up. And go read that parable of the woman who did not give that judge who do not fear God any breathing space. She persists until the judge deliver our answer to her. That is how God expects us to persist in the place of prayer. You pray until something happens. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 25. But while men slept, his enemy came. Spiritual, I've said this often, spiritual laziness is dangerous. Prayerlessness is a risk. Prayerlessness give room to the wicked. Please, friends, wake up early every day. Pray over your day. Pray over your family. Pray over your ministry. Pray over your business. Pray over your career. Wake up every day and pray. Don't give room to Satan. 
as much as there might be people interceding for you or praying for you, but wake up every day to pray. That is why for me, the greatest gift any man or woman can give you is to pray for you, to bring you before the place of God and to pray for you. So please, prayerlessness dies from today around your life. A family that prays together, stay together. Pray as a family. It's not how long, even if it's for five minutes, but the act of it is what is important. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Number four, and we stop here. Number four way by which the enemy uses to display his manipulation around us in the place of spiritual warfare that we must not give him room, that we must not give him room to, is wrong association. I will be making a message on this. Three ways by which the devil comes through people sometimes. Wrong association. When the devil sees that he has made all attempt to get you and he can't, he will plant the wrong people around you or come through people that should not be around you. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 33. Wrong association give room to Satan. Be careful who you open up to. The devil also comes through people to weaken you and to bring destruction in the spirit realm. And that manifests ultimately in the physical. Look at this. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 33. Do not be misled. Do not be deceived. Do not allow the enemy to mislead you or to deceive you. Bad company, bad association corrupts good manner, corrupts good character. Kavala, Zika, Lekro, Toba, Nekuba, Abeko, Izina, Akla, Tulibina, Adia. If you have not given your life to Jesus, I'd like you to do so now. Like I said, our victory is through Christ Jesus. There is no other way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. You don't know Christ, you cannot enjoy victory over unseen battle. Please say with me, Lord Jesus, come into my life as my Lord and my personal Savior. I surrender my heart to you. Thank you, Father, for saving me. You've prayed that prayer. Congratulations. You are saved and washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Now stretch your hand. Say in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The son of the living God. In the mighty name of Jesus. The son of the living God. From July till the end of the year. I will enjoy triumph over every battle physically and or spiritually. I will enjoy triumph over every battle physically or spiritually in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. My children will enjoy triumph over every battle physically or spiritually in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Glory to God. If Jesus tarry, I make bold to declare, enjoy peace throughout the remaining half of this year. Enjoy supernatural favor throughout the remaining half of this year. Enjoy supernatural humility throughout the remaining part of this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may no evil before you. May your going out and your coming in be free from arms. In the name of Jesus, that which your hands are pursuing, receive them for the honor and the glory of God's kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ, may your life not be cut short. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, your career I decree and I declare continue to blossom. Continue to blossom. Continue to blossom. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, may your business continue to enjoy God's favor, prosper, advance. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, it is well with you. It is well with you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. If you have any sickness in any part of your body, lay your hands there. By the eternal name, of the son of the living god jesus i speak healing to your body now be healed and be made whole 
in Jesus mighty name may God keep you this week may you enjoy God's mercy and God's protection as we journey into the seventh month and continue the journey for the remaining part of this year may grace continue to speak and work for you and your household in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of the Living God God bless you God keep you don't forget join me in preaching the word by sharing the word God bless you. Amen.